Hello and welcome to Best Take. I'm your host, Matt Burkett. Best Take features film and video work created by students enrolled in Maricopa Community Colleges. In the capstone class at the Scottsdale School of Film and Theater, advanced students produce a major project, which is the accumulation of two years of study. Students audition for the positions of writer, director, and producer, and take on part of the funding responsibility, just as they would in the real world. Another film class works as the crew for the production. The script that was selected for filming was Patches and Me by student Samuel Smith. This story was inspired by Smith's interaction with the homeless man. It developed as a combination of the loneliness of being homeless with the way a child often has an imaginary friend. It was an ambitious project because it included animation. Smith wanted to give it a childlike aspect to the story, but because animation is complicated and costly, other options were considered at first, such as a rabbit costume or puppets. However, Smith said he knew nothing brings out the childlike sense of wonder like cartoons. They can do anything. They are free from logic and the rules of the physical world. Watch with me now as a homeless man struggles to reconnect with his sister and his childhood imaginary friend tries to knock some sense into him. What's the matter, Ripley? Papa hemorrhoid? Right, I can't, Ripley. You see, I don't want to be here. You're not here. I could be hanging poolside with Hef right now. Nope. 
Instead, I have to babysit the seven dwarfs' creepy uncle. Patches? I, I, I don't understand this guy. I was supposed to be done with you in kindergarten. Patches! You know, I bet your sister could- Patches! Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! I didn't ask for you to be here. I don't need you. Anyone else's help. So f*** off! I'm not telling you anything anymore. But you really haven't told me why I'm here. Please, leave me alone. I have enough friends. So, she heard you talking to me. <sighs> yeah. And she freaked out. Yes. Yeah, 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 keep going, I'm listening. What do you want me to say? She freaked out. I need to talk to someone, you know, rather than no one. Hold it! When I heard that, uh -huh. all I heard was medication, really? padded walls. Imagine that. Something even worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Surgery. Of course. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh -huh. I get it, you know, she's just looking out for me. I yeah. just. Uh huh. I don't want to end up. Yeah. Kind of burdened. I don't think she'd do that. Oh, by all means, after you. Oh, wait a minute! Ugh. Come on, Ripley! Don't want to hear no Bible thumpers! <sighs> what a maroon. Hello? Hello? Evening? Uh, do you have a minute? No, not really. Look, uh, I was just gonna ask. See, I'm trying to get a hotel room tonight for my wife and I. We, uh, we kicked out of our, our, our apartment and I, uh, I'm like 10 bucks short. Can you help me? You're 10 bucks short? Yeah. Sorry, man, I don't got any cash on me. Really? Yeah, sorry. You have no cash on you no. No. at all? No. Douche. Excuse me? Whatever, man. What an asshole. <laughs> you have an imaginary wife? <sighs> I feel so used. Yeah, keep walking, pal. I know. Oh, they have free food here. Cracker, key change, get your co wine here. You tell him I want to talk to him on Monday. I'll set his ass straight. Listen, he thinks we're going to bend over backwards on this for him? Then screw that. Excuse me, Yucky. sir. Mr. Dia, can I talk to you for a moment? Yeah, just tell him to come by the office on Monday. I haven't eaten in like three days. Just, Could you hold please on, help? Hold on, man. Hold on. Yeah, just tell him to come by the office on Monday. We'll call him on it. All right, I'm going to call you back. I need to get something to eat. I haven't eaten for like three days. Could you please help so me out? Man. I'll tell you please. what. I'll tell you what I'll do. Pick up this trash, and I'll give you ten bucks. What? Ten bucks. Not the fucking garbage man, asshole. I'm giving you a job. I give you the job, you do the work, I give you the money. You can put it in your arm or a bottle, but you gotta earn it, man. I just want something to eat. <laughs> Tell him you can recycle. <laughs> Maybe he'll give you dental. <laughs> Fight. Oh, you lazy son of a bitch.
Not doing it. You need to do it. Not calling her. Fucking call her. Not calling her. You smell like a foot. I don't need any help, okay? Listen, asshole. You're gonna call your sister. She can help your sorry ass. I don't have any money. There's a coin in the slot. Use it! How are there even pay phones in 2015? Dial! Damn it! I still gotta hold his hand like he's f***ing five! Oh, next he'll want a cookie and a story. Hello? 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 He ain't ready yet. Dude, get the f out of here. You can't be here, man. Let's go beat it. Now, now. Now. Ripley, I don't want to do this, but you need to be knocked down a peg. <laughs> gotcha! Woohoo! Come and get me! <laughs> you can't get me.
Jackson. Oh my f***ing god. This is the second piano of this f***ing week, are you kidding me? Oh, I'm getting fired. You! You did that, didn't you? Why, Ripley, whatever do you mean? Killed! I could have been killed! You did the same thing to me when I'm five! I did that for your parents' sanity. That wasn't the drums, Helen Keller. I never asked for your help. I'm arguing with no one. You can't help me. Why do you even care? Because I care about you! I made a promise to you a, a long time ago. And I haven't done a good job. Ripley, what happened? You were fine. When I left you, why am I here? I've... I've never... had to ask my family for money. Ask friends, though. <laughs> That's, uh, it's funny. How uh, quickly their phones stop working. Some people, they just don't care whether you're alive or not. I guess. More time. You don't care yourself. They don't want me around. And I don't want to be around. You're not asking your sister for money. You're Asking her for help. In the beginning, I didn't want to worry her. Then I was scared. Scared of shaming her and... It led to hating her. I guess after... All this... to face her.
sorry. I never... I never thanked you enough for being there, looking out for me. Nah. <laughs> I really can't change things as much as I wish I could. I just wish we could have talked when things were good. Wait. Does this mean you're leaving? Did you know there's a mathematical algorithm to solve this? <laughs> no, I didn't. Good. What is the point of f***ing puzzles? <laughs> and Ripley, I've been best friends with a lot of good kids over the years. And from the bottom of my heart, you're none of them. It's Ripley. Um, I'm okay. Uh, I don't know if you want to talk to me, but uh, I'd love to talk to you. I want you to know that I uh, I miss you, and I love. Hello. Hello. Ripley. R R are you there, Ripley? Are you there? Liz. Oh my God. Oh my God, Ripley. Okay. Uh, good. My day's good. Smith said he credits the support of his friends and particularly the film school instructors with his success. It was their encouragement to submit his script that helped silence the self-doubting voice that can drive you mad and stop you from ever working again. 
Smith added that he has much more respect for visual effects after this project. However, he felt animation was the best way to tell the story that just because a friend is imaginary doesn't mean they can't be the catalyst to become a better person. Smith is currently living in New York and freelancing on film productions. Thank you for watching Best Take. I'm your host, Matt Burkett. Tune in again for the next edition of Best Take when you will see more exciting film and television work from the students at Maricopa Community Colleges.